everybody, it's time for the Triple Urn Challenge for April. This is where I take one, two, or three of these beautiful iron urns that I bought last summer and arrange them somewhere in my house once a month for every month in 2015. The whole point of the challenge is to create different looking arrangements using the same containers so that maybe you might be inspired to use the stuff you already have around your house to create something new. January, I did a wintry landscape on my dining room table using all three of the urns. February, I did a mini makeover to my side of the bed and used fresh flowers in two of the iron urns. In March, I used all three of the urns again on my dining room table and created a living ode to spring. And let me tell you a little bit about what happened for this month's challenge. I actually ordered a piece to use in a display that I kind of had forming in my mind. Well, it broke in transit and the company I ordered it from couldn't get a new one to me in time. Kind of a bummer because I did not have a plan B for this month. So it threw me for a creative loop and I had to scramble to come up with something two days before April 1st. I even had my mom come in, the big guns, and help me figure a few things out. I also set it up in a room that I'm currently redoing. I just got through putting up Wayne's coat and everything is still white. I'm excited to get in there with some paint to liven things up a bit. So that said, here is April's Triple Urn Challenge. It's simple and light. The hutch that the urns are situated on started out a dark red color with one shelf in the bottom. I decided to cut that shelf out and then painted it an updated gray color. The urn on the top is filled with contorted filbert branches. They are probably the coolest branches a person could use in my opinion. I need to plant one of them in my yard really bad. A customer at the garden store I work at actually gave them to us after she pruned hers back. So thanks Jan. They are all twisty and neat all on their own. I had some glitzy eggs and bunnies in my Easter decor box and they fit in perfectly. And the bottom urn is just filled with white hyacinths and daffodils from the garden. You just can't get easier than that. So there you go. Simple, pretty, and easy to do. I'm really looking forward to May's challenge. Remember to subscribe below so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.